Paul, you, it's, you, it's you talked about rope on <laughs> enjoying snow skiing. Uh, Daryl and Mike and I sat down with you last week at Phoenix, and you told us you had a very interesting goal in your life around snow skiing. Well, I'd, I'd like to ski, I don't know if it's possible, but uh, I'd like to ski seven continents. Uh, every continent. Now, how many uh, have you done so far? One. Oh, you got six to go. <laughs> I got a long ways to go. But, uh, no. but you got to have a dream, man. Yeah, you know? you got to huh? uh, Africa and Antarctica would be the two toughest, I, I would think. But, uh, but now, I, I even asked you, where in the world do you snow ski in Africa? And you, Mount I guess, Kilimanjaro. Mount Kilimanjaro yeah. is exactly yeah. what he said. Well, about how about hey, Australia? No, Australia? Jamaica I had Australia. a bobsled. Yeah. I guess you got pretty good skiing in Australia. Okay. Do you do Harvard. the extreme skiing where they drop you out of a helicopter? And I haven't. I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to try it, but... Um, no, I've, I've, everything's lift accessible. For that's, on the, that's on the bucket list. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, we, right. we, got, we got a contest. Hammond named the seven continents. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Larry. Now, wait a minute. Let me tell you that's something right now. Right. I know I'm not smarter than the fifth grader, and I'm not going to prove that I'm not, or I am. Uh-uh. No, sir. Hey, Canada no, has sir. not won. <laughs> All of us collectively probably can't name the seven continents. <laughs> now, wait a minute. I will correct you on that. I was talking to the folks that work on your team today. And the interesting thing was that they said, he may not smile, <laughs> smile a lot, but the key thing is he's, he's a smart guy. Yeah. He's a very intelligent individual. Seriously, they were bragging about you, that you know a lot about the engineering of the cars, and that you, you are pretty well read. I mean, not like some people I know. I, I don't talk enough to get my stupidity out of here. <laughs> <laughs> See, Daryl, you always told me, hey, 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 don't open hey. your mouth and remove the doubt. Well, you didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> I got to know, you work for Rich Penny Motorsports. What about all that's been going on this week? Has this affected your organization? Has it affected Richard Petty Motorsports and with Casey and making this announcement? What kind of a, of a shock has that got to be to y'all's organization? Well, I, I was out of reach all week. I had some meetings up in uh, Wisconsin. So um, I haven't got to sit down with the, the Gillettes. Um, haven't talked to Casey personally. So uh, I'm kind of out of, in, in the dark right now, out of the loop. But uh, Foster Gillette wants to talk either tonight or tomorrow and kind of get, get me up to speed on what the plans are. And, um, you know, you can't blame uh, Casey for, you know, yeah. what, going to greener pastures if that's what he sees and can't hold the guy back. So uh, uh, Casey and I have had a good relationship through the years, and this year has been, you know, being teammates has been even better. So, um, so far, so good. And uh, we's, you know, right now we're focused on Richard Petty Motorsports and improving the 98 team, and, uh, you know, that's, that's goal and priority number one. And, Steve, just for the record, North America, South America, Africa, Asia, Europe, Europe. Australia, and Antarctica. Oh. He thought Talladega was a country. <laughs> <laughs> I, know what, I know what Talladega is. I thought Alabama was a country. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff? Paul. <laughs> While we're on the subject Steve? of what you like to do away from the racetrack, one thing that I did read is almost before you started racing cars, on asphalt or whatever that you were doing some racing in cold weather and you still like to go back and do it every once in a while won a bunch of events it's been it's been tough to go ice racing lately with uh, our january and february is a pretty full with uh, the schedule that we have but uh, that's we we ice race during the winter time we used to still like to now what, yeah, what kind of a car it's a sedan i mean uh um we had a uh, older cars i mean when the series was big it was late 80s so we got like an 87 Toyota uh, Corolla FX16, uh, a Mazda 323, some small lightweight sedan. And this is sanctioned racing. Yeah, it's uh, International Ice Racing Association. Wow. So it's um, it's a great series. It, it's died down a lot in the last 15 years, but um, we uh, we still build the tires for the series. Basically, take a street tire, grind all the tread off recap it and mold, mold uh, studs right into the, the tread. Wow. About, I think it's 160 studs a tire. So it's, it's pretty comparable to like loose gravel, um, road courses, anywhere from a mile and a half to, we've raced on Lake Superior before with uh, four or five mile road courses. I mean, big tracks, so it's, uh, it's well, a lot of fun. What about, I, uh, I just was curious, if we look around the garage area right now, we see a, a lot of uh, marriages taking place over the last year. <laughs> We've actually seen a f quite a few babies uh, expected or have been delivered over the past year or so. What, what, where are you? Uh, are you married? I'm not married, no. I, uh, my girlfriend, Jen, Jennifer, uh, and I have been together six years, and uh, thanks for putting me on the spot here. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, we terrible. put guys on the spot, and they've had to, they've had to uh, 
get married. We, matter of fact, because of we or not, or, we, or or not. not. Yeah. we've helped a lot of relationships. We've heard a whole lot more. Yeah, that's right. Well, I'm going to run back home and turn off the TV. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's been great. Um, you know, she's a great girl, and uh, it'll it'll come soon. Good. It's I like that stability in the driver's life. You know. Yeah, I mean, it's what we do is crazy, and to have uh, people that stick by your side the way that she does, and and your family and friends do. It's uh, it's a it's it makes your life so much more comforting, I guess. When when at the end of the night you 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 know you have animals and stuff at home, and you walk in the door at the end of the night, and they're happy to see you. So yeah, it goes a long way. Hey, Larry Mack. Yes. Sir. You know, you may have got me on the continents. Right. He was talking about the one lake he was ra racing on, what Lake Ontario? Uh, Superior. Superior. So, how many of the Great Lakes can you name? Huron, Ontario, <laughs> Michigan, Erie, and Superior. Good job. <laughs> there you go. Y'all two are working together, aren't you? <laughs> That's I, I can't, making each other look I, good. I can't wait to see what you're going to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're passing notes here. <laughs> if you look at the Great Lakes, if you just use the word homes, homes it'll tell first you. letter, it'll tell yep. you. That's good to know. I'm going to write that. I down. learned that my third year of the first grade. <laughs> So wow. I, think, I think we better go to Holmes. <laughs> I think you're right. Now, since we're talking about the mention in the ARCA race, Paul, you had a pretty interesting comment that you couldn't wait to watch the ARCA race tonight. You thought it was going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, I think it's, it's going to be a great race. It um, Qualifying got rained out, so the field is all jumbled up. And I think the, the guy that starts on the pole, I think it's Nelson PK, and McCombie starts outside him, but I think McCombie only ran like four laps or something. It's nine miles an hour slower than... So it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be fun to watch. Oh, it's gonna be a wild start. Is what he's trying to yeah, say. You better be make sure you start. strap down your television. <laughs> you know, Paul, I was thinking about uh, we were talking to A.J. Amendinger, and he was saying how the King Richard Petty comes over and puts his arm around him and pokes him in the chest every now and then. What's your relationship? Do you have who's your mentor? Maybe over there at uh, at Richard Petty Motorsports. Who do you who, who do you hang out with? Well, Richard for sure. The King. Uh, Sat with him for probably half hour today. Um, in between, this is before nationwide qualifying after cup practice. Comes up in the hauler and just you know, hey, how's it going? And kind of you know, set out the day for him and what we've done and how we've improved. And um, he's always got some advice that uh, uh, that strikes you as you know, wow, why didn't I think of that? So it's it's been good. Dale Inman's been around a lot. Uh, he comes to uh, uh, all the races so far, and uh, he's always the the guy there that you can go to and uh, just a lot of a lot of experience a lot of championships in that room you know Paul one thing that I've been impressed and, and I was impressed last week when we were talking to you is is you don't you try not to let things distract you uh, Jeff asked you about a lot of things going on at Richard Petty Motorsports but w when I look at your career uh, you were at DEI for four years cup two full seasons and in the middle of all that DEI does the mer merger with Bob again and then you get, end up at Yates Racing in 2009. And then headed into this year, they do the merger with Richard Petty. And I look over there now, and in and, and the list of owners, Richard Petty, Max Jones, Doug Yates, George Gillette, a lot of things seems like they continue to, to surround your career that, that could be a distraction if you're not careful. It's, it's all what you make of it. I mean, the, the sport's changed so much in the last, since I've been a part of it in, you know, five, six years. Um, you know, the economy's been been failing and uh, it's hopefully it's back on track I think it is but uh, you know that took a lot of restructuring for the race teams and uh, you know that's that's what happened with uh, the D DEI uh, GIN merger and that's what happened last year with uh, Yates and RPM is trying to you know everybody's got so much invested in these uh, race teams that you want to see it progress and go forward and uh, sometimes there's some unusual ways to go about it but uh, you know but you've seen from uh, where we were last year to where we are this year, it's it's, it's helped us, helped yeah. the 98 car. Um, you know, AJ and Casey always runs good. He's a, a phenom or whatever, but uh, AJ's uh, picked up his game a lot. He's running really well, and, and uh, Elliot's, he's been a lot of help, too. He's got a lot of experience, so uh, good people to pull from. Paul, appreciate you spending time with us, and we'll let you go uh, watch the ARCA race. Thanks, right. thanks very much. We're going to turn off the TV before my <laughs> Right. Way to go, Daryl. <laughs> Sorry about that. But <laughs> well, I had to know. But well, I had to know. All right, thank you. Paul, just, just so you know, when he started down that road, I went, oh, boy, I don't, I don't know where this is going. <laughs> It'll work out. It'll be for the best. We talked too much last week. <laughs> no, we did. <laughs> <laughs> at, least he, at least he didn't ask you if you're going to have a baby. Is your, yes. Is your wife plan on breastfeeding? No, yeah. No, that, that's right. normally a number no, one. Well. I, didn't, I didn't go there. I didn't uh, go there. There. A year from now, what can happen? Yeah, that's right. That's right. I like the way he's thinking. 